Residing close to lakes and rivers provides you with many recreational opportunities, from swimming and fishing to kayaking and floating on inner tubes. Cedar Falls citizens take advantage of living so close to the Cedar River daily. However, the city of Cedar Falls is currently under the process of developing a whitewater park on the Cedar River. There has been some talk about establishing some sort of whitewater feature on the Cedar River probably for well over 10 years at this point. With other communities in Iowa developing their own whitewater courses, Cedar Falls had examples to draw on. Such communities included Charles City and the more recent Manchester, which opened their whitewater park earlier this year. City officials took a day trip to Manchester to tour their new park, talk with locals, and speak with those who were involved in creating the new river feature. Since its completion, uh, just this spring, uh, we've had a lot of very good positive comments about the change in the river here. Um, it's been a long process. It's been about five years since the initial thought. We see uh, 10, 20, 30 people here almost every day over lunch hour or after work. Uh, there's people fishing almost all day long. Uh, there's people tubing and kayaking on a regular basis. Manchester Whitewater Park is approximately 800 feet long and has six features ranging from novice to advanced. Um, we're just floating down on the rapids with our tube and yeah. It just makes it more fun and like a lot of more people come. Like it's a really big attraction. Based on your experience, how much experience does it take to be able to uh, raft down a river uh, that's built like this? Not much, I guess. Just be safe and wear a life jacket if you want to, I guess. Manchester officials were very cautious of making sure the community knew what was going on during the entire process. Many residents of Manchester were worried that this new water feature would decline the number of fish and other wildlife in the Makokota River. However, it was the exact opposite. Well, we've uh, experienced that at a couple locations and found that, the, and working with the DNR, that the fishing actually improves. We're creating more habitat as we add the rocks and slow water and warm pools and uh, aerating the water with the water features. I thought they ruined the river that I've grown up on. I fished this river for 20, 25 years, had good luck, always kind of had my little places I like to fish. Um, when, they, when they started building this, I just shook my head because I thought there went my river. And I came back, I gave this another shot to actually fish it. And first day out I caught 34 fish. This river is actually healthier than I've ever seen it. More diverse species. This is actually a positive thing and I think it only can get better from here. Manchester had a dam similar to the low head dam on the Cedar River near the Ice House Museum in Cedar Falls. By taking out their low head dam, the river became safer and accessible for everyone. And now we've made it safe for access for handicapped people. Um, somebody in a, prior to our, our work here, somebody with crutches, let alone a wheelchair, had zero accessibility to the water, no intimate contact. Now what we have is these nice walkways where people can actually get down to and in the water and participate in nature. This project had a budget of $1.8 million. The city of Manchester was able to raise a third of that through grants, another third through private contributions, and the last third through the city of Manchester and Delaware County. The Cedar Falls officials who visited Manchester took back that experience and information gained and shared it with the Cedar Falls City Council. What we see today in Manchester would probably only be one small phase of what we're looking at uh, on the Cedar River. Of course, uh, this project is based on uh, safety improvements upstream uh, in relation to the dam, but a component of the project could be some improvements that we, we see today. Some riverbank improvements below Gateway Park to, uh, for some aesthetics and allow people to get closer access to the river, and then also some features within the river itself uh, for kayaking, for tubers, uh, for canoes, and just uh, try to develop some different uh, type of amenities that people will be able to enjoy closer to the river or actually even in the river. And again, this was something that has been on the city's um, 
at least an interest perspective for a number of years, uh, but now has been identified uh, potentially as a, a goal that the city council would like to pursue in the future. I think one of the big things that we've learned today is just looking at uh, the scale of the project. We've seen photographs and seen some images, but uh, just trying to figure out what the scale of, of Manchester's project is, and then trying to get an idea for what the actual vision is in Cedar Falls of, of a project. Though the trip was a big step in the process of Cedar Falls creating their own white water park, the building of it is years away. There hasn't been any hard funding yet. Right now, the city is doing a few studies to see whether it's possible and put together some cost estimates. Cedar Falls is seeking grant sources as well as hoping the community will come on board as far as public support and private money contributions. A future Whitewater Park is just one of the many examples of how Cedar Falls is constantly working towards making itself an even better place to live for its residents.